Welcome back to Figure Depot. Today we're going to take a look at the Batman The Dark Knight Returns action figure wave with the Build a Horse by McFarlane Toys. Let's get it. First figure we'll look at is Superman. He comes with the two hind legs and he comes with a circular display base and an action figure trading card. Uh, he looks really good. I love this figure. Uh, the beefiness of him, just the sheer chunkiness and you know massiveness muscular nature of him is just fantastic uh the head sculpt some people are kind of meh about it i think it looks fine it's kind of hit or miss on looking like mcfarland's art which does kind of change a little over the course of the uh dark knight returns story so is good enough for me i really like it the only thing i wish they had done that they didn't do was put an s on the back of that cape I need my S on my Superman. So, probably pick up an extra one at some point and give him a uh, cloth cape and get an S on there. So, that'll be fun. Taking a closer look here at some of the finer details. Uh, the sculpt's real nice on the hair. It's just a solid black, no wash or anything. Um, got some nice folds in the cape coming down. Um, it's kind of a pre-posed, you know, Cape. You kind of know what you're getting there. Uh, got uh, belt loops there that are not painted, so I'm going to have to go in and paint the belt loops. We do get nice wrinkles on uh, these joints here, uh, the, the little leg hinges, so that's cool that they gave us that detail. They did get the uh, correct boot design on there for Superman, so that looks good. Got the little notches at the top. If you remember, Year 2 Batman did not have his spikes like he was supposed to. One thing that is a little odd about this figure, and I guess it's just how the plastic came out, there's all these swirls in the plastic, so I'll probably do a coat of blue over the thighs to cover that up, because that's kind of the only place it's super noticeable. But uh, I did find that a little strange. Uh, the S on here looks really good. Great looking figure. Uh, he's got the side eye. I don't know why they keep doing that. It's not terrible, but it's enough to bother me, so I'll go back and repaint his eyes to where he's actually looking forward like he's supposed to be. For Superman's articulation, the head is on a ball peg. He does look up really far, which is great for flight poses. Doesn't look down a whole lot. Um, he doesn't crunch <laughs> forward at all. I mean, he's got a little bit in that torso, but actually that's mostly his legs bending, so just not great. I don't know why McFarlane can't get an ab crunch to go forward. They can go back fine. If you rotate this back, put his arms forward, get his head up. I mean, that's a great flight pose. It's fantastic. But he can't stand over somebody and kind of, you know, brood like he's about to put the smack down. It's just not going to happen. Uh, arm articulation is very fluid. No problem there. You get a 90 degree bend because you've only got a single jointed elbow and then you've got the little swivel hinge there. We got ball hinges here, you know what those do. Uh, we do get some leany rocky there. Um, this again doesn't go forward at all. You saw how far it would go back. So he can do good flight poses. So at least they gave Superman a good flight pose. Uh, legs go forward there, no problem. Go back, nice. We get our double jointed knee bend, which won't quite go heel to butt. And then we've got ball hinged ankles, so that'll give you all the range you want. And they do pivot as well. So nothing we're not familiar with, with McFarlane in terms of the articulation. Next, we'll have a look at Joker. He does come with the head of the horse, the saddle. He comes with an extra hand, a knife, and of course the circular base and the trading card as usual. Forgot to mention Superman does have flight hands. My apologies. All right, so back to Joker. Uh, he does have your uh, traditional look from the comic, the all white suit, although the pants are a bit of an off white as well as the gloves. Um, his jacket and tie are more true bright white. And uh, yeah, I like all the sort of, supposed to be like a knitwork or, you know, the, the sewing stitch work there we go in the 
suit that all comes through really nice and gives it a nice texture which is continued on the hinges uh, he does have double jointed arms unlike Superman but then he's just <laughs> got the single jointed knees so they will bend and swivel just like Superman's arms so arms will go out there really good rotate 360 doubly jointed then we got our ball hinges here in the hands and uh, not much going on in the waist really at all because of that jacket um, he will kick pretty good forward back uh, will pivot and do all the ball hingey stuff down at the ankles like normal so pretty much uh, consistent articulation and then uh, just getting a closer look at the figure. I'm not a wild, not wild on this face sculpt. It's okay. Doesn't do a whole lot for me. Um, but you know, it's whatever. It's okay for what it is. I definitely like the Mattel one better. But yeah, good attention to detail with all the sculpt work and the jacket. The hair looks nice. It's kind of a two-tone green, dark with some light highlights. Looks nice. Um, it's not a bad. It's not bad in terms of like the execution. It's just the likeness. I don't know. I'm not feeling the likeness. But you know, it'll work. I'm fine with it. Just a nitpick. So get your crotch joints and you're swivelly that way uh, with that. Sorry, I didn't realize that was out of focus. But yeah, just typical stuff for McFarlane there. Next, we'll have a look at Robin. She comes with circular base, trading card, and then the bulk of the horse's body, which is generally the case when you have a Build-A-Figure. If you've got a tiny little figure, you get the biggest Build-A-Figure pieces with it. She also has her little slingshot there. Uh, it's painted in silver with a brown paint on the uh, little bandy part. Carrie Kelly, Robin. I love this figure. Uh, I love the character. And I really liked her in the animated feature that they did. Um, just, they really portrayed her very well in that. And uh, it's very, very cool. Uh, do not like the giant cankles they put on there. I hate ball hinges still. I just think they should go back to like a Marvel Legends style ankle joint for, for these figures. I don't know why they're using ball joints, they just are ugly looking. But um, they do function like they're supposed to, they just so unsightly. But anyway, minor nitpick. Um, the figure overall looks fantastic. The uh, R is real nice and crisp and everything looks really good. I re really like the uh, head sculpt on here. She looks great. You can see through her glasses, eyes are painted really nice. The hair looks really cool. <laughs> very awesome figure. They did a really good job with her. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, in terms of the articulation, she does look up very high, which is great. Uh, she looks down okay. Um, not spectacular. Uh, we don't have a whole lot going on with the waist again because this tunic piece is kind of solid. Uh, oh, there goes the arm. We do get a forward kick to there, uh, back kick to there. She does have not the same kind of McFarlane hinges we're used to seeing, but a very similar style. Um, we do have a real good heel to toe, uh, heel to butt on the double jointed knees. Um, her arm is not broken. It just the little peg slipped out So just punch that back in there and uh, we get a double jointed Elbow it gets real good range right there um, We do get swivels here. We get swivels here. We get arms that rotate and do all the stuff they're supposed to do um, so that works fine you can turn the waist left to right. Uh, and then we got our ball hinges that we were talking about and toe articulation, which all these figures have. So uh, articulation, pretty standard again for McFarland. Uh, we get uh, cape, looks pretty cool. And uh, her belt 
it's actually painted right, like the loops, unlike Superman's, that were not. So, anywho, I'm Batman. And like the others, Batman comes with the trading card and the circular base, and then we get this pre-posed uh, little bat orang and rope. He gets fist hands and then gripping hands. We get the horse's tail, and then we get the horse's front legs, and uh, yeah. Alright, so Batman, the figure I was looking most forward to, and I think he's the figure that I'm... I guess the most frustrated with. Part of that has to do with he doesn't have a forward crunch, but I mean, we know that. It's McFarlane. Uh, so, yeah, but I mean, it's it's pretty iconic. Batman hunched over in that, you know, little pose we all know from, from the artwork, and you can't do that pose really effectively. And also, the, the range of his kick, much less than Superman's, which I don't understand. I mean, these should have been fairly similar in their kind of overall design, but uh, the Superman body definitely is a little different. Um, the Batman doesn't crunch back or forward. He's pretty much just a solid plank from his neck through his groin, um, unlike Superman that can arch back and get in a nice flight pose. So that's a little disappointing. As far as the look of the figure, I mean, it's beautiful. You got all these wrinkles and everything, and it looks fantastic. But the articulation is where this particular figure is a bit lacking. Um, I have the Mafex one, and it's fantastic. Um, but I just expected a little bit more out of this one, I guess. Uh, so he will look up really far, which is good. Um, he will look down decently, but again, you have to kind of bend his legs to kind of get him crunched over, really. He's not going to do it on his own, for sure. So, I guess that's okay. Um, the arms will go out to the side, and I always recommend heating these figures up before you move them around. I always put a hair dryer on them and get them nice and hot before I start moving stuff around. Uh, so, and I need to put it back on this thigh swivel. He does have a thigh swivel. So, his first McFarlane toy, I think, to have a thigh swivel. There it goes. Um, so, you get the swivel action up here like they normally have, but then you also get a full thigh swivel. So, that may help us some with our posing. Just like Superman, we've got the single jointed elbows and uh, the little side to side swivel there. Um, so, and then we got our ball hinges here. And yeah, uh, splits do fine. You know what you're looking at there. Um, bend is decent. It's not spectacular, but it's decent. Um, and then we got our ball hinges and toe articulation. So we know what we're getting out of that setup there. Uh, yeah. So just coming in for a closer look. Uh, looks really cool. The sculpt on this is great. He looks very mean and menacing and. It's just a great looking figure. I love the huge chest emblem with the deep cut there. It it's like really, <laughs> it looks really cool. Uh, we do get a nice design with the belt there. We get our uh, sculpting with the wrinkles and all that. Looks great in the pants. And uh, we get that continued on the back, of course. Um, and here in the, the little hinges and everything. So great attention to detail on this. I do not like the cape. It just looks flat. You know? It's not even like... It's not full en enough in the sculpt. It just looks like paper folded over on itself. It's very, very thin looking. I did order a custom cape. Um, so, I'll do, a, do that custom cape whenever it gets here and show you all what that looks like. It's leather and it's wired. So, it's going to look really great. But, uh, for now, we're just kind of stuck with this, so. For some size comparisons, here he is with the Mafex figure and the Mattel in the blue suit. And, um, obviously he's much taller than the Mattel version, as you can see. And also much taller than the Mafex. The Mafex and Mattel are just about the same size. Sorry, I just tried to destroy my camera. Um, Apex and Mattel are just about the same size. So 
so, but they're as equally buff and like girthy and wide as he is. He's just taller, which honestly seems disproportionate because he should look squatty and short like these guys. Um, and amazingly enough, the Superman does, even though they're probably the same height, look as stocky and everything as this Batman should look. I think his legs are just too long is the problem and I think his upper torso is not large enough. It's not as large as Superman's and that's really kind of what's throwing it off. Here he is with the DC Universe Classics Bane build a figure and here he is with the Mattel Mutant Leader and uh, Mutant Leader is just a slight bit undersized. Um, again the, the McFarlane figures are 7 inch and Mattel stuff is 6 so that would be why. Hopefully they give us a mutant leader and some other uh, characters going forward. For a little classic suit Superman comparison, we'll have a look at the DC Direct Public Enemies Superman, one of my all-time favorite figures. Uh, the articulation is severely limited, but the sculpt on it is fantastic. It's kind of got that same boxy, muscular look that I really like. Um, and then we have the Mafex uh, Hush Superman who uh, is obviously a much, much smaller figure, but, uh, yeah. For a quick Joker comparison, uh, we have the three Jokers, Criminal and Clown Jokers, and uh, the uh, Clown Joker is very tall, and the Criminal is essentially the same height, but um, he's actually just a hair shorter. Um, I think it's because of the hat and the way it's designed versus his big old noggin with that big old bouffant of hair on top. So, uh, but you kind of get an idea. This uh, Dark Knight Joker is much, you know, thicker than the other Jokers, but he's definitely a little bit shorter. For Kerry Kelly Robin, I don't have, uh, oh, I do have a Mattel Carrie Kelly Robin, but I cannot find it to save my life. So here's the Mattel Wonder Woman from the Dark Knight Returns. And then we have the three Jokers Batgirl. So that just kind of gives you an idea of how she scales with some Mattel and some other McFarlane stuff. And here is a look at all of the figures from this wave together. And uh, they look great. And so I guess next we will build the horse and then do some horse size comparisons with some horses from some other lines. Here's all our parts and pieces for our build a figure. And I wanted to look here at the saddle. Check out that bat signal on there. Very, very cool. All right, so we're gonna take the neck piece, put it on there. And then there's some little clips here that um, you got to line up, I think, and put in there. See if we can figure this out. Okay, yeah, so that just snaps together. Then we'll put our saddle on. I guess just kind of pop on. Yep. And then other leg. Pop him on. And then this is the right leg, it says. And this is the left leg. Ta da! And then, um, the tail. All right. There you go. The tail is very heavy. That is one thing I noticed about this horse. And um, the body is a very hollow little plastic kind of shell of a body. So um, they should have probably made the tail hollow so you could pose it a little better. The ball is ratcheted, so that'll help a little bit when you're doing his, you know, up in the air pose. 
but um, it is very heavy, which is going to throw the balance of the horse off a little bit, probably when posing it around. But um, still a very awesome looking horse. Uh, the stirrups are painted silver, the buckles and different things on here are painted nice, so that's good. We do have a, this uh, range of motion there, and that is ratcheted. Um, I wish these had been like ball sockets so we could kind of get some in and out movement with the, the front legs because he does kind of want to lean to the side and I guess you can swing the tail over to kind of help counterbalance if you need to. Um, but uh, I think these, yeah, these are on swivels so you can, and their, their ball pegs work just like the feet on the figures do so you can kind of get them moved around a little bit to kind of help brace him you can probably turn these out a little i don't know i'm gonna have to mess with a little bit off camera <laughs> to get it to do what i want it to do but you know not bad looking uh looking at the uh, face of the horse it's a very attractive sculpt so it looks very nice and uh, kind of a somber look in his eyes. Pain on this one, I've got some brown over in some different places. I'm gonna go back and touch up with some flat black. It has a nice flat finish to it. So uh, that won't be any problem to kind of touch up and make look nice again. But you know, all the leather parts do look like leather and it's very nice looking and everything functions pretty well. So uh, I guess we'll get a size comparison real quick with some other horses. So here's the McFarland horse next to some Lord of the Rings horses and they are for seven inch figures, but <laughs> yeah, he is much beefier and larger. He's a monster compared to those guys. And uh, you can see he looks awesome. One thing I forgot to mention, the head here does swivel back and forth and uh, go up and down just a little bit but uh, mostly swivel side to side. But uh, yeah, he's a big old boy. And these are some little like dollar store, kind of one twelfth scale horses. Not really dollar store, but like, you know, Walmart or somewhere like that. Just kind of generic for kids to play with horses, not articulated in any way. So I think I forgot to go over the articulation breakdown. I mean, I kind of briefly touched on everything, but uh, head will swivel left to right. So that's cool. Just a slight bit of up and down there. Pretty good amount of up and down there. Um, the legs, uh, yeah, they do hinge, but I haven't put heat on this yet, but you can see the hinges right there. Uh, so I'm not gonna force it right now, but they will hinge forward and back. We get it forward and back here. We get a forward and back here and a swivel, like a kind of like the ball, the pivot back and forth swivel uh, with these. You can really see it on that one. Uh, and the back legs are just like the front legs. So, um, yeah, I'll get this guy posed up and we'll take another look as we go out here. So, final thoughts on the wave. Um, I love it, it's really cool. Definitely recommend it. Uh, they're hitting Walmart stores like now, so get out there and find them because I don't think they're going to last long. Uh, and if you ordered through BBTS or Northside Toys or something, uh, good luck to you. Hope those come through for you. Uh, I, if you like Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns run, I think you'll really enjoy these. If you're just a kind of middle of the road collector and you're not really into anything specific it might be a pass for you but I definitely recommend getting this Superman he's I think he's the standout in the whole wave and the horse uh, I'm always looking for horses because I like to do Native American you know and cowboy shots and stuff so I'm always down for a cool looking horse but um yeah just a really great set and uh I'm definitely gonna enjoy these. Uh, check out my Instagram for upcoming action figure reviews and custom figure work and all kinds of good stuff.
And uh, please comment below. Let me know what you think of this wave. If you plan on picking it up, if you've got it, what did you like about it? What did you not like about it? And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.